Hi everyone and welcome to the first video of the series on automation testing using Selenium. In this video, we are going to look into how you can use JavaScript, Node.js and Selenium to automate your web testing. We are going to run these tests on both local browsers such as Firefox and Chrome and we are going to run them on Lambda Test Selenium Grid. For those of you who have heard about Lambda Test first time, it's a massive on cloud Selenium automation grid that has thousands of browsers and browser environments connected as nodes and hubs, and which you can use to perform your automation test scripts on multiple browsers that you won't have access to. So uh, not only you get to increase your test coverage, you can also cut down on your test execution time by running your tests on parallel on Lambda test grid. So with that said, uh, in this video, we are going to look into how to install and download Node.js. Then we are going to start with downloading Selenium using NPM as Node Package Manager. And we are also going to download and install other dependencies such as Chrome driver and Firefox Gecko driver that we are going to use to run your tests. Then we are going to write the first piece of code that you can uh, that will automate a simple logic. And then we are going to run that on the Lambda Test Selenium grid as well. But before we start, I want to clear out a few points. Uh, in this video, I'm not going to go into detail about uh, Selenium or about uh, JavaScript and Node.js. I'm going to uh, bring, um, understand that uh, you guys are familiar with concepts, uh, JavaScript concepts such as modules, DOMs, variables, etc. Uh, if you want to uh, understand more about uh, Node.js or JavaScript, there's another video in the same channel uh, named Node.js uh, Tutorial for Beginners. You can check it out and uh, start from there. All right, with that said, the first step is to download and install Node. So you can download the latest Node uh, from Node.js.org. They have uh, multiple different downloaders based on the operating system so i'm using windows i'm going to download the 64 bit so uh, in my system i already have node installed but uh, if you want to check if you have node installed or not all you have to do is open a command prompt type in the command node space dash v and it will return the version of Node.js that is installed on your system. So I have the latest version, as you can see here. So uh, the next step is to download and install Selenium. Uh, we are going to install it in D-Drive automation that I already have a folder. In this folder, I've already created a few tests before. So as you can see, there's nothing related to Selenium here or Node here. So we are going to use Node Package Manager or npm space install space selenium web driver. The npm will fetch the dependencies required to use selenium web driver from internet and uh, going and it's going to populate it in the my folder. So it has added all the node modules that I may need to run Selenium along with obviously Selenium web driver module. Uh, it has also created a package lock JSON file. It, is, it gets created whenever uh, you make a change in uh, node package using uh, NPM. So now when, uh, when we have node and uh, Selenium with us, we are also going to need web drivers that can help us so run the test. So the first step is we are going to download Chrome Web Driver. You can download Chrome Web Driver from chromium.org, chromedriver.chromium.org slash download. I'm going to include the links, all these links for Node and Chromium as well in the description below. You can check it out. Let's click on download. I'm using Windows. So Windows is going to create a zip file. Well, and extract in the folder that I'm running test. Extract here. I don't need the zip file. I'm gonna delete it. All right. So we have the Chrome web drivers. Now we also need Firefox web driver or Gecko driver, as it's called. 
Uh, so it's a GitHub repository. You have, I need a Windows. I use Windows 64. So is the to download it. Show in folder. Extract it as well. All right. So I have all the requirements that I'm going to need to run the test. I have Selenium modules, I have Chrome driver, I have Gecko driver, and obviously Node installed as well. So uh, let's look at the first program. So this is a very simple code that is uh, going to invoke uh, a browser using Selenium. Uh, it would invoke Chrome browser. Then we are going to open up a website, lambdatest.com, and uh, then we are going to find a link that has the text as automation, and then we are going to click that link and open up the page. So once that page opens up, we are going to use the uh, we are going to fetch the title of that page and display it on the console. So uh, let me give a little, a little bit in detail here. So uh, we start off by invoking Selenium WebDriver module. So this is the line that creates a WebDriver object and invokes the Selenium WebDriver module. Then we are going to use the same to create a new driver module as well, driver object as well. And this is going to the builder. It's going to build for browser Chrome. So if I change here from Chrome to Firefox, it's going to use Gecko driver and run the same test on Firefox. Let's bring up Chrome as back. Uh, these are the elements of uh, the driver object. Get it was going to fetch the website using this function and there's all now when that website is open up we're going to use another function that is going to find the element and we that element is find using link test so uh, there are multiple ways uh, that so you can use to find an element you can find an element by id you can find an element by xpath css selectors there are n number of uh, ways that you can find an element based on your requirement uh, you can know more about which how these elements work at uh, Node.js uh, at the uh, Selenium module documentation. I'm going to include the link for this as well. Right, these are all here. Web element, for example. There's a find element promise. You can learn more about it here. Locator by function again, you can uh, learn more about here. So, this is a simple uh, test that we're going to open up my Chrome browser, open up Lambda test, find a link that has text as automation, open up that link, and then fetch the title of the page that opens up. So that's it. Let's run the program. I have saved it now. Here's how you can, here's the command to run the code. It's node space, the name of the JavaScript file, store test2.js. Voila. It opens up lambdatest.com. It has clicked on automation. It has opened up its website. And it quits. And it has returned selenium grid for this is the This is the title of the page. So I also want to highlight the driver dot quit statement here. This statement tells the browser that uh, the functions has been performed, and now you have you have to quit and close the browser. That's it. So uh, now we're going to run the same test on Firefox. So as I said before, the simple step is to change the Chrome to Firefox. Again, we are using the WebDriver module. Uh, the WebDriver is going to build a new Firefox browser and is going to run the same test. The command again would be same. Node, node underscore test2.js. And voila. Instead of Chrome, it's open up Firefox. Open up automation. And it has written the title of the page. Easy, right? 
quite simple. So uh, it's all about the right process that you want to use, what you want to test, what uh, functions that you want to invoke, uh, what uh, elements that you want to find, and what elements that you want to run that uh, that you want to perform functions on. So that way you can automate each and every step of your website testing process by process, code by code. Uh, you can run that same code on Firefox, Chrome, Safari, uh, Internet Explorer, Edge, any browser that you may want to. So uh, as I said earlier, that we are also going to run the same test on Lambda Test Selenium Grid. So uh, Lambda Test Selenium Grid is an online repository of browsers and browser machines that you can use to run your test on browsers and operating systems that you don't have access to. For example, uh, as I'm using a Windows machine, I don't have access to a Mac machine and a Safari browser. So if I want to run that test on, uh, I don't have access to it here. Similarly, for example, my Chrome here is the latest version, 72. So if for suppose, suppose my uh, user of my uh, a client has a problem in, for example, Chrome 62, I would have to first uh, downgrade it, or I would have to first uninstall the Chrome, reinstall the Chrome. So it's a lot of process hassle. So instead, I can use uh, Lambda to Selenium Grid itself and run a test on that version that I want on. So I do not need to download any Chrome, any version. I just need to run the test on Lambda to Selenium Grid. So I also have a written code for this here. So the difference between running on uh, your local system and running on Lambda Test Grid is the instead of uh, building up a new driver, we are going to build up, we are going to run this test on a grid URL. So uh, we are going to invoke a remote web driver and run that test on that remote web driver. Right? So uh, again, the link, the this code is available on a GitHub repository whose link I will include in the description below as well. Right? So I'm going to start with a simple concept called capability generator. So how will the Selenium know which browser they have to use, which operating system that they have to use to run this test on when there are thousands of different parameters available? So this tools help me to create a capability generator that we are going to pass on to Selenium remote web driver that is going to use this capability generator and run that code on the desired operating system and browser version. So for example, I'm going to use Chrome. I want to run this test on Chrome 62. And based on that, it has created my list of capabilities. So I can copy paste this list of capabilities on my code itself. So instead of, I've already written here, I'm going to use Chrome 62. So there are other parameters that we can use to filter down or uh, manage our test as well. For example, we can give a test name, we can give a build name. There are many other features as well that uh, you can use here. For example, you can uh, make network logs as true. This will show the console logs as well. If you are going to, if you want to test the locally hosted pages, you can use the Lambda tunnel functionality as well and that you can configure it. Uh, you can also select the Selenium version and you can take the screenshots, add different parameters if you want. Uh, you can record the video or you can toggle the recording of the video. So there are many different functions here. So one of the key things here is to find out, uh, is to run the test on a grid URL. So that grid URL is a mixture of your username, uh, API authentication key, and the grid URL name. So all these are we have I have defined here as uh, variables. So my username is Madhites. The access key is here that I've copied from here, and I'm going to paste access key right. And uh, the grid URL is already here. You can find it on the support page as well. So this is a little different code. Here I'm going to open up uh, Google NCR. Uh, it's going to find uh, element by the name Q. 
and it's going to enter lambda test in the in that element so if you don't know about google so in google.com once you open up the search browser search tab is named as q it's a standard and every time you google sub the name would be same everything else may change but the name would be the same it's a you can say convenience given by google for testers like us again it has a quick dot driver statement it has and uh, i'm going to open up google.com search lambda test in the search bar once the search page opens up i'm going to fetch the title as well all right i'm going to save it i'm going to run this oh i'm going to need change the name i'm going to change this demo video i'm going to change the name as node.js build save it and i'm going to run it so the name is so again the command would be node index.js instead of running this uh, com this code on the local system it's going to run this code on lambda test selenium grid here let me oops, new data available let me refresh here so this is the new run this is all uh, bill is running as you can see It's a demo video. You can watch it live here as well. Open up the Chrome 62. Opens up Google.com. Types in the command Lambda test. Opens up the search result, and then returns the title of the page. That is Lambda test Google search. So if I go over here at Google, search Lambda test, it will give back the search result, the title of the page as Lambda test Google search, as did by the code here. So with a simple piece of code, you can make sure that your website works perfectly across all browsers and operating systems. So I didn't have, uh, I'm using Windows 7, and I ran that test on Windows 10, Chrome 62. I, I don't have access to this browser locally and I was able to run it successfully on Lambda test grid. So similarly, you can run this on Firefox as well. So older version of Firefox, for example. The same piece of code will work there. I've included the GitHub repository link for this piece of code uh, in the description below as well. Do check it out. And if you have any issues, leave the comments below so that's it from my side right now i'm going to work on more videos around selenium and node.js so be sure to subscribe to the channel and we will see you again